promotional consideration paid for by the following. Hello and welcome to Quick Shot Reviews. I am your host, Luke. And this week, we're going back home because we are looking at a film that is a Netflix film. Much like Matilda was last last week, but that was in the cinema. This is Netflix only. But it does star some really big names. And I saw it and I thought, oh, what's this? Is it like a, a series or something like that? And it's not, it's a film. And it's, like I say, it's got some really big stars in it. And I thoroughly enjoyed this film. I did not think I was going to, but I did. And I I put it on as a sort of passing glance. And it's like, it got to uh, the point where I do go to bed because of uh, work commitments and things like that. And I had to switch it off. And I was like, I really want to see what happens. So I ended up watching it again like continuing it first thing the next morning and then throughout that uh, lunchtime as well because I work from home and uh, finally got through the film and I I couldn't stop watching it it was so good the film actually is the second in the series I haven't actually watched the first in the series like I said I thought this was a passing glance but it is in Nola Holmes too and it is really good. It's a 2022 film. It is a 12A. It is two hours long. And it didn't feel like a chore to me at all. I thought this was absolutely refreshing. Uh, it broke the fourth wall a couple of times. It was charming. It was uh, intense at times as well. And it was quite exciting. And I really... Everything I want in a film uh, of this kind. So, yeah, let's get... On to the main part of the video where I'll go through everything that I thought about this film and yeah I suggest if you've got Netflix and it's still on there give it a watch I will see you in the main part of the video As I said before, Enola Holmes is a 2022 Netflix original film and it is brilliant, <laughs> absolutely brilliant, I can't, can't say that enough, it is really good um, and it is the second one, so I've still got to watch the first one, I'm going to do this possibly the wrong way around, I don't know yet, but um, yeah, watch the second one before I've watched the first one, so... <laughs> There you go, that's that's that. Uh, but she's already solved her first case. She's now a detective in her own right. Uh, a detective for hire, Alola Holmes, takes on her first official case to find a missing girl as the sparks of a dangerous conspiracy ignite a mystery that requires the help of friends and Sherlock himself to unravel. Now... Like I said, there's some big names in here, but it is directed by Harry Bradbeer and written by Jack Thorne and uh, starring Millie Bobby Brown, fresh off her success in uh, Stranger Things, of course, Henry Cavall. Uh, at this point in time, as I'm recording this, Henry Cavall has appeared in Black Adam as a, as a teaser. People will know that by now, so I'm not spoiling anything. And then subsequently left Witcher, The Witcher, uh, to reprise his role as Superman, or the Man of Steel, as it were. And now it looks like he's not going to be reprising that role, which is 
pretty shitty when it comes to it because he's been dropped by two studios or he dropped one studio to go to another and then that studio they dropped the first studio for has now dropped him as Superman. I mean, he was the best Superman for quite some time, I have to say. And it is down to the writing, let's face it, it is down to the writing. But he, he had everything since Christopher, Christopher Reeves played that role. Uh, he had everything that ne he needed for playing that role. Anyway, we'll get back in talking about something different. Enola Holmes. <laughs> let's get back to this. So Henry Cavall plays... Sherlock Holmes, Millie Bobby Brown, obviously playing Enola Holmes. We've got David the Wills as Grail. We've got Louis Partridge as Tewksbury. Um, a bit of a love interest of Enola there. We've got Helena, Bo Helena Bonham Carter in here as well, which is awesome. Um, and, and quite a few others that uh, you may or may not know. Either way, it's all really well acted. It's all really good. It's set in Victorian times, obviously, as you'd expect, being a, a sort of a Holmes film. And it's based around, uh, uh, like I say, igniting a, uh, a plot, shall we say. I'm not going to give too much away there, but I thought this film was... Ultimately very charming. I thought it was well shot. Netflix are becoming not only a powerhouse in streaming, but a powerhouse in film as well, just in, in general. And, uh, yeah, it's really excellent. Excellent film. And I'm going to go and watch the first one obviously, as well, so um, we can get that as a as a review, but this one absolutely captured me from start to finish, it was fantastic, and it's very rare I say this, uh, but it's one of those films that, you know, you probably could watch over and over again if you wanted to, um, I don't tend to do that. Unless the like absolute classics like Ghostbusters or something like that, but even then, I don't watch those films very often. I quite and certainly these days I'm rewatching films that I saw in the cinema. Um, I may do a re review of the new Candyman, for example. I watched that again very recently. It was available. On streaming services so I decided to watch it again and actually based on my first review I thought I I thought I was a bit harsh I watched it again I thought it's actually pretty good um, so yeah sometimes first impressions they don't reflect a film I'm sure my first impressions of Enola Holmes 2 are very reflective of that film because I thoroughly enjoyed it and say the cinematography was good, the sound design was good, the acting was brilliant, uh, the storyline also great. I thoroughly enjoyed the storyline. It was it was done in the vein of uh, Kingsman: The Secret Circle. Um, the 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 latest one, uh, which embroils itself in a little bit of history and then adds this sort of James Bond element to it as well. And, uh, yeah, it was done kind of, it was done like that. So there was genuine history behind the mystery. Uh, that sounds like a good name for a, um, a, a Netflix series. Copyrighted and trademarked. History behind the mystery. I like it. Anyway, we're back in the room with quick shot reviews Enola Holmes too if you can still get your hands on a copy through streaming or whatever service you can use then I'd very much suggest this one I'd probably say watch the first one so you know what's happening although like I say I didn't before I watched Enola Holmes too and I didn't find it difficult to follow I didn't find that 
it was absolutely essential that I watched the first one to know what was happening because it was all explained and it was it's exactly what you want. <laughs> it is genuinely what you want. Um, even though it's a film, it does feel a bit like a TV series. Netflix are obviously very good at making TV series um, and they're, they're pretty much the rulers of the streaming services for that. Uh, besides Disney Plus, who are an absolute juggernaut, but yeah, very good, very good indeed. And that is—it's not really a review; it's just my thoughts on things. If you want to watch it, watch it. If you have watched it, leave us a comment. Uh, let's get the conversation started on all these great films as we move into twenty twenty-three, people. Twenty twenty-three. Wow, that means we'll have been going for. Well, actually, I started start doing this in the pandemic, so it means we'd have been going for two years, uh, two and a bit years now, because uh, it started around summer, summertime, um, and uh, yeah, fun times ahead. Let's keep going. Enjoy your films, enjoy life, and just be cool with each other, and always have that mystery of wondering. Whether we're going to actually get a decent Ninja Turtles film. Who knew? I've been Luke. You've been the Cheap Shot Nation. And I will see you next time. Peace and love. And goodbye.